So what happened was that in the beginning, right, we didn't go to seek uh, help from the doctors. We thought that it was just a normal skin condition. I didn't know that it was eczema uh, the first few months. If I were to lap it to him, but it's not a nanti then he will feel Okay, when we found out that he had this skin condition, right, and he was about six, uh, almost seven, going, going to start primary school already. So it was a very painful experience for us because we didn't know what to deal, how to deal with it. Because when it first started, it began from a small uh, wound. It actually spread throughout his entire body. He refused to bathe because he told me that it's very painful. So when he stepped into the shower, once the water hit him, well, he started boiling and screaming. That was like the worst that we had to go through. And then when, we, when, his, when he sleeps, you know, when he wakes up, we will see that the entire bed sheet is stained with blood. His clothes will be stained with blood. And then when he comes back from school, because it's hot in school, it triggers, you know, the itchiness. He, he would scratch and his uh, uniform would be stained in blood as well. So as parents, when we see that, it was really heartbreaking. Macam dia malu lah nak keluar. So it actually affect dia punya self-confident. Um, Nak-nak dengan Singapore punya weather kan panas. So even panas kan, nanti dia pakai long sleeves. Tengah teri, eh, I like actually kesian lah. So actually it take uh, a while lah untuk kita convince dia cakap, eh, hey, you have to wear shorts pasal you need to air out the thing all this lah. But but sometimes tu bila dia dia macam dia duduk kan, dia kadang-kadang pun macam takut it might macam uh, stain um, the crossy ke apa benda lah. So there was a period of time that he didn't want to go to school. Because he was, you know, he lacked the confidence, the self-confidence, and he has a very low self-esteem. When people started to point at him to say, how come he has scars? Yeah, so that actually was quite a traumatic experience uh, for him back then. We yeah, were concerned that kita takut, because macam takut eh nanti berjangkit, yang pigang macam, uh, but so far, alhamdulillah lah, you know, all their parents, they pun tahu kan, this type of thing, jadi they pun, uh, bilang dia punya children tu kan, actually all this macam normal lah, tak payah tu. So, so far, um, nak katakan sekarang bahawa dia pelan-pelan more sociable lah compared to last time, uh, dia memang malu. So, uh, my son, he actually takes a lot of joy in painting and drawing. When he first had the eczema, right, he immersed himself um, you know, drawing and sketching. So even when there were no friends to play around with him, he would actually take out his sketchbook and sketch his favourite characters. We wrote a letter to the school to inform them that he has this condition. So I think during primary 4 or primary 3, I can't recall, the teacher actually spoke to the class to say that, you know, Adriel has a skin condition, so we need to be a little bit more sensitive and more encompassing to to his needs, lah, that kind of thing. So he got a few friends in school that takes care of him. You know, if he's bleeding, you know, his friend will give him a plaster. And I'm very glad that, you know, I, I happen to know this group of friends. And they see past his skin problems and then just treat him as a normal boy. They go down and play and, you know, do stuff regularly, which I'm very thankful. Lah. Technically, when I when we were like first talking, I saw there was like this type of like his skin had like some I don't know like harder. Uh. I thought it was a bit strange at first, so I asked him what was it. Then it, he told me it was eczema. I just I just said that uh I have eczema. It's okay to have eczema. If you have any other condition, I'm okay with it. Because every everybody is just different. Some some people have something and then some people have, don't have. I thought that he wouldn't really want to to, to be friends with me because uh, I had this condition. I feel that Nathan is a good friend and he 
doesn't really care about whether people have conditions or any disabilities or not and he just goes with what he has. Say like Adrian has eczema, he's born with it, he just he can't change. If if you have something when you're born and it all stick to it, you have to get used to it. And for my friend here, even though he look he, he might look a bit strange, it's just it's normal. Some people don't some people are not perfect. No one is.